All right, y'all hear that? Yes, that is loud, okay? Now, I was told to tear it down. The insurance company want me to remove the upper, they want me to tear it down. Now, I determine uh, how much I'm gonna tear it down. Tear it down to the point of failure. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna locate what caused the failure, but I can hear, sound like this side here. I'm gonna remove these valve covers and see if I can see anything valve train related, all right? Now, there is some sludge build up, guys. Earlier on the earlier video, I told y'all how to check that. Just remove the cam sensor and see if sludge surround it. Because the way this valve cover is designed, you cannot see. It's a baffle inside of here, so you can't really see if sludge build up based off looking at the valve cover alone. But that is extremely loud, and on a 2.7, we do not make any kind of repairs, guys. Uh, there's some kind of valve train issue. Uh, my boss simply told me to recommend a new engine. But because this is an insurance adjuster or insurance problem, they want me to go through the normal rigmarole. So, uh, I don't want it to get too high because I'm about to tear it down. So, hold tight, guys. Yes, guys, I highly suspect a uh, heavily sludged up engine. Now, I removed the cam sensor early. I'll do it again for y'all. Uh, so we can take a look. So we can take a look at the cam sensor, see how much, if any, sludge buildup is here. Like I said, I removed it earlier, so I, but I'll do it again. What we're looking for is sludge buildup or any kind of particles uh, it has built up on it. And yes, guys, now see that? If you see this, you got problems, especially as it relates to this engine okay this is not good but like i say because this in insurance insurance job they're running this through the insurance company <laughs> we have to tear it down now i'm not tearing it down for nothing i actually got approved for six hours to tear it down and quite frankly it's not going to take near that because i need to tear it down to the point of failure quite frankly when i get the valve covers off i should see what i need to see it sounds like valve train noise so i should see some valve train problems but guys it doesn't matter at the end of the day we can't make a repair on this particular engine so it may seem like a waste of time but it's something you have to do so ain't no sense in fussing about it let me gather up some tools and let's get to work guys let's get it guys welcome back i have performed my so-called teardown time this is as far as i'm going guys would you look at this will you look at this do y'all see what i see oh my goodness look at the valve cover guys now i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this and i know a lot of you guys are gonna be shocked uh that i would make such a comment but listen to me real closely guys listen to me I have seen worse. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm not lying. I have This is bad and terrible, but I have seen worse. In fact, this video right here, I'm going to link right here. Go and watch that video how I tore it apart and see it's worse than this. And for some odd reason, guys, it's the same kind of engine. 2.7 liter uh, V6 Chrysler Dodge engine. Now, good Lord. Okay, I didn't know it was this thick. So that's what I say, guys. If you pull, that's my whole little secret to 
uh, without doing a lot of work, how to tell if this engine is sludged up. Merely remove <laughs> the cam sensor. Guys, look at that. All right, I'm not going any further. There's no, look at this. There's no reason to go any further. Number one, now this is the whole thing mechanics hate about teardown time. This is why mechanics hate teardown time. My stall is torn down. Sure, I can push this car outside, but uh, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes, but I didn't want to do that. I was I had already wrote up what it needed based off my preliminary inspection, which is this. There's no sense in going any further, guys. You have an engine that's completely sludged and wiped out. This this and I, I'm gonna go out on another limb, guys. Uh, yes, this can be repaired. Any engine, any engine, any transmission can be repaired. The problem or the the debate is gonna lie in is it worth it okay yes anything can be repaired but the debate will lie in the fact that is it worth it okay will the cost to repair it exceed the value of the engine or the car for that matter and the answer to that is yes 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 this can be fixed but at what cost okay the cost will be uh tremendous okay so oh man no need taking off the other side and guys by the way i had to remove the intake to get to this uh boat right here on the valve cover um i just i never thought about that i never I haven't pulled one apart in a while so i couldn't remember if i had to remove anything or not but yes this is stuck in my stall for a while at least till the adjuster come out Woo. Woo. All right, uh, yes, here's the baffle that you can't see. They give you one little access hole. You can't see if the engine sludge based off simply uh, removing the oil filter cap, oil filler cap, okay? Some of the older model cars, that baffle is not there, and you can pretty much see if you need to waste your time. <laughs> uh, yes, so, wow.